they're a really interesting species. I think they're really good looking fish. And also, they're just so fun to target. It's very exciting fishing with the mullet coming right up behind your spinners, especially the fin lips. They fight incredible. It's a really good fun on light gear. And yeah, they're just a nice fish to target and they're nice to see. It's a lot of visual seeing them in the rivers. It's just an enjoyable fish to uh, go out chasing. All right, my name's Ollie. Um, I've been fishing for about six years now. Fish predominantly sea fishing, but all fishing I like to dabble in. But yeah, especially mullet this time of year. Generally sort of known as the summer sort of fishing when the mullet start to come in, when the weather gets warmer. The estuaries is where we target them around here. We generally uh, look for finlet mullet, especially on this river at low tide, um, looking for deep pools where fish held up. Yeah, so I've got 4,000, obviously fixed ball reel, um, six pound line. You can sort of vary your line from six pound to eight pound. It's better to keep sort of light line. It's generally sort of the tactic with the, the mullet fishing. I like to use a heavier spinning rod just in case you, you know, you hook a big mullet or a salmon or a big bass. So you've got some bit of power to the rod. Yeah, so this is a spinner. What I've had most of my success on. It's a MEP size four spinner. The way I've found what works best is cutting the treble off and trailing a treble hook and then another single hook behind that one, in front of that one, and trailing either harbour worm or king rag. I do find with a harbour worm, it doesn't stay on the hook for very long, so it can often be rebaiting and rebaiting. King rag will last longer on your hook and you'll still get just as many bites on king rag as harbour worm. Yeah, so technique of mullet spinning generally uh, for myself is to cast into the far bank of the pool and to retrieve your spinner slowly. Once you've located a few fish, generally you'll be able to get a few follows and get a few fish on the bank. Yeah, so handling mullet. So you've caught your fish, you got it on the bank, you need to wet your hands. The scales come off very easily and it won't look good in a photo and it's no good for the fish. Once they've lost scales, they're going to be prone to infection and being generally unhealthy. So wet your hands. If you've got a landing mat, that's ideal. But yeah, hold the fish gently and catch a fish if it's going to fall and just be gentle with the fish. And once you put it back in the net, let it rest before it goes back. Yeah, so mullet fishing in general um, is popular with specimen anglers who have an appreciation for these fish, but generally um, it doesn't seem to be the most popular fishing, um, but I do recommend it for anyone who hasn't fished before. It's a good way to get into the sport in general fishing, um, and it can be very exciting, and these fish fight real hard, and it will put a smile on anyone's face.